So, last few times out on the boat, I've noticed that I'm taking on water from somewhere. It used to be I could be out in this thing for 8 or 10 hours, and the bottom of the boat would be dry as a bone. And now I'm noticing that it's accumulating some water inside, so I need to figure out where it's coming from. So, one of the observations I've made is at the base of this live well, the carpeting would get kind of wet. I mean, just around the base of this live well. And so I'm going to start uh, directing my attention to this live well and seeing what's going on. So I filled it up with water for the garden hose while it's here in the garage. And I can see it dripping down the bottom of the live well. So i got a leak somewhere in this live well. Okay, so here's how I figured out where it's leaking from. I've taken a light. Taking a light from underneath, and I look, and here we go. I've got a crack right there in the aluminum bottom. So I want to fix this. I want to fix it you know, properly, correctly, and I'm going to aluminum weld it shut, which is going to require some heat, and it's right next to this rubber elbow at the bottom. So I can't heat that up without melting the elbow, so i got to take the elbow out. And the elbow is hooked to a hose that I can't remove without actually removing the live well itself out of the boat, apparently. So I'm looking and I see some rivets. One, two, three, four rivets. And then I should be able to get this live well out of the boat and get a closer look at it, disassemble any uh, elbows and hoses, fix it, and reinstall it. So that's the plan. Okay, so in order to get this live well out of the boat, I'm going to have to drill through a couple of these rivets, starting right here. Now I'll be able to take off the hose, which I couldn't get off without removing the, the live well. Take the hose off, get the well out of the boat, and we can work on it. Alright, so I got the live well out of the boat now. I got it up here on my work table. And this is the hole I want to braze closed. So first thing I need to do is clean it up, get all the paint off of it. Uh, and I think I'm going to try a wire brush at first. So I'm going to wire brush on a die grinder. Let's see how this works. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, there's kind of a close up. Now I've removed all the paint and any oxidation. Now that's just clean aluminum. And now I want to braze this thing shut. What I'm going to be using for this repair is some flexless brazing rod. I've never used this before, but I did find it online for precisely what it is I'm trying to do. It's called HTS 735-2. And I found it at aluminum-weld.com. So, again, never used it before, but it looks like it's exactly what I need for this repair. So, here we go. Okay, so the way this fluxless brazing rod works is I'm going to heat up my work here that I'm trying to close up. 
And when this material gets 735 degrees, then I can touch it with the rod and it will melt this rod like a crayon almost, supposedly. Uh, almost liquefies it, almost like solder. And then we can fill this gap, fill this hole. It'll bridge that gap very easily. And then when it cools down, of course, it's a lot stronger than solder. It's very strong. But uh, I just need to heat up this work to 735 degrees with the heat. Pull the heat away. See if it starts to melt. If it does, then I'll continue warm with the heat at a further distance just to maintain the heat in this area. And then fill this all in. And let's, let's see how this works. That looks pretty darn good. We're going to let that cool down and then uh, take a close look at it. Okay, here's another stress crack on the other side. Let's uh, clean this all up with the wire brush. See what it looks like. Okay, that looks pretty clean. All right, that looks good. Let's let's get some heat on it now. Here we go. Okay, I've got enough material there now. Instead of using the rod to spread it around, it just keeps melting more. I'm just going to use a piece of wire to, to move this melt puddle around a little bit. That looks pretty good. We're going to let that cool down and then see what we got. All right, this is a little hard to see with the camera. Hopefully you can uh, see what I'm, what's going on here. But I've got this crack. This is on the inside. I want to heat this up. And I'm going to drop a little bit of aluminum braze into that crack to strengthen it a little bit. Here we go.
There, hopefully you can see that. Just get a little added strength to that crack. Now I got it on both sides. So here's a closer look at that repair on one corner and also on the other corner. So I think we're done with that now. All right, with all that heat, I've kind of got uh, I've burnt the paint here, which is kind of ugly. So let me see if I can wire brush this uh, dark stuff off and make it look a little better. Try a DA sander and see if this cleans it up a little bit easier. Oh. Oh, I think that looks a little better. Try that on the other side as well. All right, now it's time to reassemble this thing, and we got to put this elbow back in place that I took off because of all the heat I was going to have in this area. So this comes through the bottom inside and a lock nut socks it down. Now originally there was some silicone goop down here to seal it. I don't like that idea too much so I went out to Home Depot I got a rubber gasket and I am going to put a rubber gasket on this thing I just think it would be a better sealer than squeezing a tube of silicone. So I've got that gasket on there like that. And I'm going to reach inside and push this thing through. Like so. And yeah, I think that rubber gasket is going to be a good seal. Hopefully, we'll find out. by hand is probably good enough but I'll give it a little tweak with some channel locks so I'm turning the nut that doesn't have the rubber gasket on it and this elbow on the other side with the gasket is not spinning or twisting or distorting anything I think that's plenty tight enough Attach this hose here. And before I permanently remount it, I just want to step back and take a look. That doesn't look too bad. As long as it's not dripping water, because water gets in there through the side drain. And it just fills the boat. So that looks, it's going to have to look good enough. So let's uh, pop rivet and screw this thing in place. Now we're going to pop rivet this in place where we drilled out the rivets before.
so that's secured to the side of the boat. And now four screws at the bottom. A few stainless steel screws in here. So here's what we got, our final product. We get inside the well. Got a repair over there. We've got a repair over here. Resecured to the boat and the floor. And there it is. One other thing I wanted to do. All right, the one last thing I wanted to do, I know what I've repaired were stress cracks. So I know there's gonna be a lot of stress on that same location, the same spot. This boat takes a pounding out on the water. And there's a chance that those cracks could reemerge. I mean, the strength will be there, so I can't believe I'm actually using this stuff, but I'm gonna just spray inside the live well flex seal on that repair this stuff supposedly should be somewhat flexible so even if a crack does come back this will help stop it from leaking in the future so i've got the brazing rod to strengthen it and this stuff to i don't know perhaps keep it leak proof for a while but never used this before but i thought you know, if you can float a screen boat on this stuff, it should work for what I need it for. All right, here's a couple of test sprays. I'll let this dry a little bit and see what it looks like. But I think if I spray the repair with this stuff on the inside, that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. So we'll try this. All right, a couple light shots of flex seal. Don't tell anybody. All right. Supposed to let that dry for a day or two. I will give it a couple of light coats like that and then we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm calling this job done. Uh, I had uh, the boat taken on some water. I found some cracks in each corner of this live well. Found some alu aluminum brazing rods. I brazed the cracks shut, which gives them a little extra strength. I uh, shot it with a little flex seal to stop leaking should those cracks come back. And I think I'm good here. So if you got any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comment section. I, I read them all the time. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.